Thanks for joining me, everybody. Gator the Legend here with you as always, and welcome to the Gator Reports. First story up today. A young lesbian couple's relationship is on the rocks after arguing back and forth on YouTube, making all of us look deep into our hearts and ask the question, are we supposed to care about this? Unfortunately, the national anthem is still a huge topic in the news lately on whether people are going to sit, they're going to kneel, or they, you know whatever the fuck they're going to do and everyone's opinion on it. Personally, I don't understand why we even care. I mean, we live in a free country where if you want to sit, kneel, dance, eat a fucking chili dog while the national anthem's going on, you have every fucking right to do so. Personally, I think we need to start treating the anthem like the Catholic Church. You know, when you go in there, sometimes you're kneeling, sometimes you're standing, sometimes you're sitting. We can alternate it with each verse of the freaking song. And at the end, we can just go around shaking each other's hands, making new friends and stuff. I mean, what's more patriotic than that? Also, seriously, what the fuck are these and how do I make them? Someone find the fuck out and let me know. They look amazing. Keemstar dropped a track this week called Dollar in the Woods, which of course made me feel like running deep into the fucking woods as far from any fucking technology that could play the song as possible. Now some of you have asked me to do a breakdown of it, an entire video dedicated to breaking down Dollar in the Woods, but that would consist of me listening to the song at least a couple of times more than I already have, which sounds like fucking torture. So what I'm going to do is make you earn it. If you really want me to do a breakdown of Dollar in the Woods and you really want to torture me, the person you supposedly like, then I'm going to put a comment down below, I'm going to pin it to the top, and I want you to give it 200 likes. That's what it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you 200 likes, which I, I thought about. I was going to go 100 likes, and I was like, no, 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 I, I really, really, the idea of listening to this song sounds like fucking torture. So 200 likes. 200 likes or no fucking video, no breakdown. So let's see what you guys got. Let's see how much you really want me to break down that shitty fucking song. Oh, let's see, what else is in the news? Uh, Jake Paul's being sued for being Jake Paul. Not that anyone even gives a fuck anymore about this shit. I mean, to me, it's just fucking boring at this point. Also, whoever fake announced Morgan Freeman's death, you can go fuck yourself. I hope you fucking die and go straight to hell. And while you're nailed up against a wall, getting your skin filleted off forever, I hope they force you to listen to Morgan Freeman's narration from March of the Penguins for fucking eternity until you beg for sweet release. Now this next story I just happened to find absolutely hilarious. I don't know if you've all seen Breaking Bad or not. Personally, it's one of my favorite shows of all time. And if you haven't seen it, stop what you're doing right now. Turn the video off. Don't watch any more YouTube videos because there's nothing on YouTube as good as Breaking Bad. Go watch Breaking Bad. When you get caught back up, start this video right where you left off and we'll move on. Now the news story that's come out about this is about the people who own the house used in, in, in the show. And what's happening to them is that they have to put up a fence now. And the reason they have to put this fence up is all these fans keep driving by and they're throwing pizzas up on the roof which is fucking hilarious there's a, there's a scene in breaking bad where walter uh is all fucking pissed off he brought this pizza home but like fucking shit goes wrong i can't fucking remember it's been a while since i watched it and he fucking flings the pizza up on the roof and it ends up staying up there for a long time you know there, there's a lot of horrible pranks out there that you watch where people are just fucking vandalizing shit people are fucking just you know damaging people's hearing and shit now all kinds of fucking crazy shit out there this is gonna be one of the more innocent pranks out there so i, I encourage them to keep going i say keep throwing the pizza is up there. All right, guys, the last story of the day is a bit of a sensitive topic. It has to do with Harvey Weinstein a little bit. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard about it. He's this big Hollywood producer guy that's been in the business for decades. Uh, he's been accused of tons of sexual allegations. I mean, it still says accused, but let's be honest. We know this guy's fucking done it. He's really fucked up. He's a real fucking piece of shit, and he deserves all the fucking horrible things that are going to happen to him that have already happened to him. Now, the thing that's really pissed me off about this, though, is the way it's affecting other people, other male actors and other male people in the community who've really not done anything wrong. Now what we see happening is people are digging, fucking digging deep against a lot of these actors out there and trying to find anything that may kind of be in the line of sexual harassment or sexual assault, whatever it may be, and they're bringing it to light. Now on the surface, this doesn't seem like a bad thing. It doesn't seem like a bad idea. I'm with you guys, I'm with you, yeah. Let, let's, let's fucking put these people out in the open where people can see what kind of pieces of shit they are. But, but there's a line. There's a line and it's being fucking crossed. And to me, the biggest example of this is a story I read earlier today about Jason Momoa, who plays Cal Drago in Game of Thrones. Now in Game of Thrones, his character rapes women and murders the shit out of a lot of fucking people. That's just who his character is. Well, like I said, people have been digging and they've dug back into the past in a video or an interview or something that he's done and where he said this. 
As far as sci-fi and fantasy, I love that genre. There's so many things you can do, like rip someone's tongue out through their throat and get away with it and rape women. Now I get it guys. I mean, it was an awful joke. It was a horrible joke. It was tempting to be funny and he fucking failed. Jason Momoa, going forward, uh, j just keep your mouth shut. Don't make jokes. It's, it's not your strong suit. Or at least write them down and rehearse them first, uh, you know, with maybe a small audience. That way you know that it's funny. But what I don't understand is why does he have to apologize? I mean, he was just making a joke. He was just fucking around. And it's in relation to a character he plays on a sci-fi show that isn't real. A character that does those things. If you want to be mad, be mad at George R.R. Martin or the creators of that show, the people that are putting that out there. I mean, why are you getting mad at this guy and not them? I don't understand. And if you want to say, well, it's not funny to joke about rape, it's not cool to make rape jokes, to talk about rape, blah, 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 but whatever, that's fine, that's fine. But on the same level, you're saying it's okay to talk about ripping people's tongues out through their throats. No one has said shit about that part of this quote, and that's what I find absolutely hilarious. You know, because we live in a society where raping someone is considered this, like, uh, immortal, like, this mortal sin, like, this thing you just, you, you never do. But if you rip someone's tongue out through the throat, that's okay. You can joke around about that all you want. You can do that any fucking time you want. That's not a big deal. If someone does that, fuck it. We're not even gonna bother with them. Go on about your day, sir. All I want is for us as a society to make sense. So let's make sense. So here's what we're gonna do. Jason Momoa, I'm calling you out. You talk about ripping tongues out through people's throats and shit, and it's not cute. It's not cute at all. So I want you to issue an apology for that as well. If you have to issue an apology about making the joke about raping beautiful women on, about the TV show, then you should have to issue an apology for acting like ripping someone's tongue out through their throat's no big fucking deal as well. Like it's just something we can joke around about because it's fun. I'm gonna give you 24 hours to get me this apology. Because if you don't give me this apology in 24 hours, I'm gonna call upon Hollywood to kick you out. No more movies, no more TV shows, no more fun times for Jason Momoa. So if I were you, I'd get the Gator the apology and I'd get it to him fast. All right, thank you guys so much for joining the Gator Reports. As always, I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? My meme, yeah. My meme, yeah.